Hello again. This is Mark with Mark's Minerals Videos. Today I'm working on some small stones. Um, these are two of the ones that I'd started on. I'm using an 80 grit or coarse Lasco diamond bonded uh, wheel here and that's as far as I'm gonna go until I start to expose the outline of the bubbles you can start to just see the outside shape of the bubbles that's as far as I'm going with the coarse bit the rest of it I'm gonna switch to a medium once I've defined the bubbles I can start to see the color I'm gonna use um, either a 600 grit fine or switch to Nova points or die thin or die thick uh, flex wheels at that point. As you see, you can work a very small stone with these dop sticks. Dop stick is just a length of dowel, and um, I've secured these using dop wax, in which case you should actually have a um, dop wax station uh, so you can do it safely. Or you can use a drop of super glue, and when you're ready to release the stone from from this area, all you have to do is soak um, the stone in water for you know half an hour or so, and it should pop right off pretty easily. All right, so again, I'm using a, a coarse bit. Um, these are just some randoms. I like having the small ones; they go really quickly. There's not a lot of clay. There's not a lot of chalcedony. You can rip through these pretty quickly. You can do two or three in an afternoon. Um, without really stressing yourself out so that's why I enjoy these and I actually do have some of these uh, one pound lots for sale on eBay right now I also am um, a dealer if you're interested in any of the bits let me know you can email at mark.ruiz.fireagate at gmail.com um, let's see so I'm just gonna pick one at random and we're just gonna kinda show you what I'm doing here as you can see there's very little chalcedony, there's very little overburden. These have been soaking for a while so the clay breaks off pretty easily. Uh, and I like to soak my stones for at least a half an hour or so before I work. I know a lot of people don't have drip irrigation systems. You can set this up with a little bit of hose and a little nozzle, uh, about five dollars for a drip irrigation system jerry-rigged with uh, parts from Home Depot or you can douse. That's one thing I'm going to demonstrate here since most people don't have that. Um, it's going to get a little bit loud, sorry about this. And don't use really heavy pressure. At this point you should be wearing a mask, at least N95 or better. And you don't want to be wearing any loose fitting clothing or jewelry. And you don't have to press very hard at all. As a matter of fact, you don't want to press very hard at all. Or you're going to burn up your, your bits, your burrs, a lot faster. Just trust the, trust the bit. Because it's got a diamond or some sort of other grinding compound, depending on the bit, embedded within that outer shell and it will rip right through the quartz and the agate. Just have to be patient. So keep the stone wet, keep your tool wet. Don't use too much pressure and as you, you can kind of almost window the stone as you see, it's lighter and then darker. I'm just removing that light cap of chalcedony. And that's pretty much as far as I want to go. So I'm just going to follow that natural bubble. And you notice that I'm touching the, um, the bit just for a second, just to apply a little moisture. It's, it doesn't seem that sharp, but if you were to leave it pressed against your skin for too long, it would definitely remove your fingerprints and probably give you a little bit of a burn. So you don't want to do that for excessive amounts of time.
periodically make sure you take little breaks. Let me clean this up. So I, I work with a piece of plexiglass and then I use a sponge every once in a while to wipe the plexiglass so I can see through again. But as you can see, the colors are starting to peer through. So let me go just a tiny bit further. Make sure you have the stone grass pretty pretty well. But then you still want to take frequent breaks to stretch your hands. You don't want to wind up with uh, carpal tunnel syndrome or something from improper ergonomics. And you don't want to wind up with silicosis from breathing a bunch of dust. So make sure you're wearing a mask at this point because it's getting really dusty. Alright, so ideally this is as far as I'm going to go. I can start to see some color with uh, I can start to see some color through that. At that point I'd switch out from the coarse to a medium. These quick change handles are nuts. They make things go much faster. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I'm going to go a tiny bit, tiny bit deeper. This will just make the uh, that chalcedony cap a, a little bit clearer and easier to see through. So you can see what I'm working toward. And I'm right on top of a small bubble. Again, that's as far, much as I would want to do with coarse. The rest of it I'd be using this, medium or fine. And you want to use uh, fairly consistent movements. You don't want to rest on one area too long or you'll leave um, tool marks and a big hole where the tool is resting. And zoom in. You can start to see it's sorry it's still blurry but you can start to see that uh, red popping out and that's really as far as I want to go over that bubble with coarse. So I'm going to reveal the rest of the stone the same way. I'm going to do all these stones with the coarse to that level. Uh, let's see if we can zoom back out. Uh, just to where the color starts to pop then I'll set them off to the side and when I'm done um, I can go over them with medium until I've better defined the stone and then I'm going to cut the back off oops sorry I'm going to cut the back off with the diamond cutoff wheel and just lop it off so I've got a flat surface and then I'm going to glue or secure it with wax to the back of a dop stick and then continue to work it down with all the steps that I've been using so that I could work a stone that's only a few carats and uh, it's still great. If you want to make some earrings or, or put a couple stones into a ring, these are perfect. Um, so again, thanks for watching Mark's Minerals videos. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out and thank you very much. I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Have a great day. Take care.